Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Mountaineer Bushcraft and Survival Systems. Today, we're going to be going over another budget item. Uh, it's going to be container. So, uh, this will be a, probably a pretty short and sweet video, but uh, readjust the camera here and get you down where you can actually see it real well and talk about it a little bit. Alrighty, guys. Uh, we got here a little Stanley cook set uh the, both of these that you see here are typically found at walmart i'm sure you can order them on the line quite quite easily they're they're pretty uh prevalent uh again now uh this this is one of my nice picks that you would typically see me uh using if i'm doing overnights or whatever because of the uh, it's just very convenient it's light it's you know, for a cook set for one person, I find it does everything I need it to do. It's got a decent lid on it with strainers. Uh, a lot of people replace this with like a uh, key ring, something of that nature, or a metal D ring because a lot of people have trouble with them melting. But typically, I don't put my containers over a raw open flame. I usually use uh, hot coals, so I haven't had the trouble with that melting off on me and this thing comes with two nesting cups plastic uh they're it's got they're actually insulated there's uh, two layers to this i don't really use these much when i'm not using the container i just i keep them in there but often i, I don't take these with me now, typically this is a nose arc trail now, this is what I'll typically use as my cup or even sometimes just a bowl in because it works like a nesting cup with that uh, Stanley Cook set there. And if you don't have these in it, you can obviously pack the inside of this full of, you know, maybe fire making kit or whatever you want to do. It has graduations on the inside, which, you know, help you with your water level so you're making one of those uh freeze-dried meals that one also has graduation on the side uh it's uh pretty decent stainless steel it's decently thick i can give it a good hard squeeze and it doesn't deform the steel in any way so it's decently thick Now, this isn't quite as thick. I'm not going to put a grip on it like I just did that piece, but it's it's decently strong. You have to put a good little bit of force in there to start bending it. So this is actually pretty stout, too, which if you're going to use it over a flame, it's pretty awesome because that would definitely help with the longevity of the containers. The handle on there locks into place quite firmly. I've not had any trouble with that. It's got just a tiny bit of wiggle. You can slide this locking bar down if you wish. That will keep. You have to pull that back and squeeze that to pick it back up. So you just slide your locking bar down here to keep that from accidentally popping loose on you. Now, for their simplicity and the weight, uh, this I want to say this little setup here is probably one of my favorite, and it's definitely uh, one I, without any hesitation, I can highly recommend it. As like I said, I've used it for quite a long time. I've got multiples of these, as it, like just as how this set is. You got one in the side by side. Uh, got one for the wife. Uh, Given one to a friend. I still got maybe one or two laying around that I've just got extra of these because they're very packable and adorable. So can't go wrong with this. It's not fancy. It's, you know, it's not a zebra pot, but I find for most applications, this is usually all I need as just an individual. Now, if you're out there with multiple people, yeah, you definitely want to get some larger stuff to work with, but, uh, as we get further on into the budget gear thing, there will definitely be far more containers, uh, cooking pots, and things of that nature. Because there's quite a few options that's actually out there that's 
like I said, it's not targeted at survival and bushcraft that a lot of people overlook because, you know, it's not advertised as such. So. But yeah, uh, yeah, if you're all in a market for just a small, simple cook set, uh, can get one of these uh, here. I think you'll do yourself pretty good. Uh, maybe get one of the Yuko titanium sporks. It's the one that's got the uh, actual full spoon on the bottom and the, sp and the fork at the top. And add it with that. You got your utensil for the, your, your cook set. So I think they're about 8 or 10 bucks now for that uh, spork. But uh, anyway, guys, hope this has been informative and you've enjoyed it. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Uh, anybody that's new, just happen to click on the video, please uh, you know, subscribe. Share the video if you would and give me a like. It helps with the algorithm. Uh, and if you watch the video through to completion, uh, it really helps me as well. So I uh, appreciate everybody's time. You all have a very good day.